A mother and her child were found dead under a bridge in Yerevan on Thursday. Law enforcers found the bodies of this 37-year-old resident of Yerevan and her 9-year-old daughter. Both had gone missing three days ago. The U.S. sanctions risking case of technical military cooperation with Russia is exaggerated, but that does not mean that it should be disregarded, an Armenian official said on Thursday. Deputy Foreign Minister Savars Kocharyan commented on the reports that the U.S. Embassy had warned the Armenian government that a matter of sanctions may arise if Armenia were to seal substantial technical military deals with Russia. The Netherlands Christian Union Party has introduced two new bills regarding Armenian genocide, representatives of the local Armenian community said. Joel Wardwind has drafted two bills to submit to the Dutch parliament. One of them is to confirm the 2004 decision to recognize Armenian genocide. The second is a decision imposing a visit by the Dutch government's representative to Yerevan to honor Armenian genocide victims. 17 people were killed in a shooting in Florida public school on Wednesday. Physicians have said three of the victims are in critical condition. The Broward County Sheriff has confirmed the reports on the arrest of the suspect in the shooting. He is Nicholas Cruz, who was expelled from this high school for disciplinary reasons. The Armenian government has decided to allocate a plot of 97.4 hectares for the construction of a photovoltaic power station in the community of Maastricht. Overall, licenses have been issued for the construction of more than 11 solar power stations throughout Armenia. The total capacity of all helio stations in the country will reach 75 megawatts within the next six months. The Armenian National Squad have dropped one spot from the previous world ranking and are now 91st in the new FIFA standings. The team's once 30th ranking, however, was a record-breaking high for the country. Reigning world champions Germany still top these standings.